सोचिए कि जब तीन काले कृषि कानून आए थे किसान विरोधी कानून और उन किसानों का दमन किया जा रहा था जब एक साल से ऊपर किसान दिल्ली की सरहद पर जाड़ा गर्मी बरसात ओले झेलते हुए इस सरकार के खिलाफ आंदोलन कर रहे थे तो बजाय समाधान ढूंढने के उनको मवाली उनको खालिस्तानी उनको पाकिस्तानी उनको आतंकी तो कहा ही जा रहा था साथ में ट्विटर जैसे प्लेटफॉर्म्स को यह भी बोला जा रहा था कि अगर उनको दिखाया तो आपका भारत में बोरिया बिस्तर हम बंद कर देंगे और आप पर छापे मारे जाएंगे और याद रखिएगा अपने घमंड और अहंकार में चूर्ण इस देश का डरपोक तानाशाह प्रधानमंत्री तब तक चुप रहा जब तक 700 से ज्यादा किसानों की शहादत नहीं हो गई और चुनावी नफा नुकसान देखते हुए तीन काले कृषि कानून वापस लिए लेकिन यह सच है कि जब इस देश का अन्नदाता अपने हक की लड़ाई लड़ रहा था तो इस देश के प्रधानमंत्री उनका दमन कर रहे थे उनकी आवाज को दबाने की कोशिश कर रहे थे नो लुक आई हैव ऑलरेडी ट्वीटेड अर्ली मॉर्निंग ऑन दिस ऑन दिस स्टेटमेंट बाय जैक डॉर्सी जैक डॉर्सी वाज़ द सीईओ ऑफ ट्विटर ड्यूरिंग अ वेरी वेरी डूबियस पीरियड इन ट्विटर्स हिस्ट्री वॉट ही सेट इज एन आउट राइट लाई एंड आई सेट दैट पब्लिकली एंड आई एम रिटरेटिंग इट अगेन Twitter is a company that uh, believed that it was not necessary for it to comply with Indian law. It believed that it did not have to comply with Indian law and made up its rules as it went along. And the government of India has been very clear from the very beginning for all companies that operate in India, they have to always comply with Indian law. That is point number one. Point number two, I just want to refresh Jack Dorsey's memory and certainly all your viewers that between 2020 and 2022, Twitter was violating Indian law multiple times, and it was in non-compliance several uh, times during those two uh, the, the, those two years, and it started complying only in June 2022. During that entire period, nobody went to jail, nobody was raided, and so Jack Dorsey, knowing fully well that Twitter did not comply with Indian law and did not face any consequence of that, is today lying and making up this story about raids and uh, and arrests. Third point, that Twitter now it is there now in public domain that Twitter during this period uh, was not only partisan. was behaving in an absolutely arbitrary manner and the twitter files that have then come out uh, after jack dorsey uh, sold twitter has exposed twitter to be a platform that abused its power misused its power and deamplified many people as in muted their voices deplatformed many people as in permanently took them off twitter totally in violation of article 14 and article 19 of our constitution and they did this in india they did this in the us and this information is now available in the public domain for everybody to read and see and therefore we have always maintained the government of india has always maintained that our objectives are to ensure that the internet is safe and trusted that every intermediary like twitter foreign or indian big or small must be always compliant with indian law and our laws have very clear provisions about weaponizing of misinformation which is what twitter did during the entire period of 2020 where they weaponized misinformation against the indians and and the and the government of india and therefore um, they were exposed so therefore today for jack dorsey to suddenly wake up from his slumber and to try and rebrush the history of twitter's conduct Uh, and so far without any consequences is to essentially say what i said in my tweet that it is a total outright lie